In this demo video, we'll discuss about how we can convert that Saturia's Owing controller for Oibris to Siemens Owing controller WP231 Owing module. It has inbuilt display and the inbuilt RS232 port. But this RS232 port sending the garbage data data stream to PC. So we have used the additional RS485 and RS232 port and we have used the analog additional card add-on card to take the data to PLC. But that additional card has problem frequently damaging so we are going to use that WP231 Owing module but it has no inbuilt display so we have to use a additional display HMI and we will use that HMI KTP400 basic so let's go to that display and that Owing module we have installed in a JB box here we can see that we have place a KTP400 basic panel is HMI panel in that JB and inside that JB we have installed that Owing module WP231 to give power to that module we have used SMPS here we have used a additional Arduino board to take data from that Owing module to PC it has no RS232 port but we have to take data in PC to make a report so we'll use a TTL to RS485 to TTL in a Arduino board and sending Owing data to PC as a data stream okay let's turn on the power see that SMPS is turned on but that Owing module is not on if you see on that KTP400 basic it's turned on also then why Owing module is not turned on because it's made for inbuilt use with S7-1200 CPU so there is a deep switch if we turn off that deep switch it will it can be used as a standalone CPU standalone Owing module ok after turning off that deep switch we will get back to you here a two deep switch left one has no function but right one is used for standalone or with the S7-1200 CPU so if you want to use that module with S7-1200 CPU you have to turn on that mode if you want to standalone use you have to turn off that switch so I have turned off that switch from here and now turn on power again see the module is now on ok see the HMI this HMI cannot show any data because it need to program without program this HMI will not connect to that Owing module so we have to give a program to that HMI so we need to transfer a project that Owing module project to that HMI there is a ready to use project from Siemens you have to download that project from website and you can take that project to USB thumb drive and connect that thumb drive to this HMI and transfer from here so I have connect connect the USB thumb drive with project so you can watch the video that how you can make USB thumb drive to download a HMI project you can check from i button ok 
from here I will download the project ok it's found that project inside that here you can see the project file I will select ok you can check from here that you want to upgrade the firmware or not by default for first time you can check that it will you can select from here but it is not the first time to download that HMI so it will get it now because the project file firmware and the HMI firmware is same so it will not different and you cannot select from my version now I will accept to download the project ok connection is established ok see now I will connect a load cell simulator and show how we can how we can calibrate that wave bridge ok after download the project to that HMI it's connected with the module here we can see that load module is connected ready now and I have connected the potentiometer as a load cell simulator ok now I will calibrate the wave bridge for first time I will not do all the setting you can find it from the manual so for calibration go to setup from here also you can go to setup we will not go to recalibration recalibration is if you calibrate earlier and if you have the test weight same test weight you have to go to recalibration or you if you do the first time you can go quick setup turn on switch mode ok here run quick setup with factory setting ok I will go with run quick setup with current setting ok you can give here the wave name I have set it as a wave bridge 01 weight unit you can set kg tone gram as you wish set the gross width resolution I have set the maximum weight as a 10,000 kg means 10 ton ok or you can set it as a 60,000 kg ok means 60 ton ok now calibration with test weight and calibration without test weight calibration without test weight you need the actual load cell parameter that how many load cell are there in one wave bridge and the uh, characteristics of load cell that millivolt per volt and capacity of that load cell I will not go with that so I am going back to that calibration with test weight ok for zero I will set test weight as 0 and calibrate weight calibration weight as 6000 kg 60000 kg ok because I will set the potentiometer to last position for calibration weight kg calibration weight 1 for full scale calibration and I will turn the potentiometer to left for calibration weight 0 means 0 calibration ok I will turn the potentiometer ok to left I already turn it left for 0 calibration means no load on the scale ok going left next so it's showing negative set calibration weight to 0 ok it's showing 0 now I will turn the calibration potentiometer to 
max position okay and set it as a calibration weight one so it will set the max calibration the scale value 60,000 okay our calibration is finished and that calibration you should done when you put the load test load on the wave bridge then you have to set calibration weight one and when your wave bridge is empty you have to set calibration weight zero okay now if you go home you can see the value is 60,000 kg now I will change the value of the potentiometer see the value is changing this way you can change okay okay you can see also the value some characteristics value of the load cell wave bridge see from here from this button scale status okay the after calibration done it will make it green okay now dead load is earlier when we have set the calibration set zero weight that time we have seen that the dead load value 177.506 kg so we have set it as a zero means it is a dead load okay you can see the millivolt load cell value also here 4.50 millivolt if I change it to max you can see that value here 9.02 here you can see the value okay we can set the parameter here setup communication setup rs485 setting that modbus rtu baud rate parity even or odd that is not possible to set it none modbus address also you can set the byte swapping yes or no and the byte swapping 64 bit 32 bit like this okay also you can set the analog set point 0 to 20 milliamps or net weight or you, if you want to set gross weight you can set it you can find all the information from the manual so thank you guys